There are just some fandoms that are just a little over the top, and some are full of nasty self-entitled brats, and some of the fans are surprisingly mature, yet the fandom is still overrated. And now, we're going to talk about those specific fandoms. Welcome to the top 5 worst and most overrated fandoms. 2015. Before we get started, there are some things I want to point out so people won't misunderstand some of the things I'm going to bring up. The first one is that the fan that one of the fandoms is sl only overrated and not on the worst side of things. There's only one, and when I bring up this fandom, I will say that that one is only on the overrated side. The next thing is that I'm not putting any of the fandoms that I am that I am in on this list. So the furry fandom won't be on it. I won't be on it. Sorry. One last thing. If you're offended by any of the things I'm going to say, stay away from the comments box. If you get your hands on it to say something negative, then go ahead. Make me laugh. Those are the things I want to bring up, so without further ado, let's move on to the list. Number 5. The Creepypasta Fandom. This one isn't as bad as some of the others, but it isn't only overrated for two reasons. The people in this fandom say stuff like, Jeff the Killer is my boyfriend, and OMG Ben marry me, and much more. The second reason is that creep quote-unquote creepypasta fans won't read actual creepypastas. They only focus on the characters. They won't go out of their comfort zone to read other creepypastas, which is what a true creepypasta fan does. Number 4, the Steven Universe fandom. This is a fandom that is only on the overrated side. The fans are quite mature, they respect your opinion, and won't and don't go all nutty if you don't like Steven Universe. That show isn't my cup of tea. I pay attention to stuff like regular show. The only thing about Steven Universe about the Steven Universe fandom is, like the Creepy Pasta fandom, won't go outside of their comfort zone and watch other Cartoon Network shows. It's a little bit irritating, but the fans will be able to respect my opinion, so they won't don't bother me. Number 3, the Five Nights at Freddy's fandom. You guys were probably expecting this one, but why did I put it as number 3? You'll see. The next two fandoms are much, much worse than this one. So on to why I don't like this fandom. I was in it once. I know a few people who are nice and are in the fandom, but if you don't- but if you say you don't like Five Nights at Freddy's, you will attract a few rabid fans. One other random, one other fandom coming up does this, but they take it a little too far. You all see for yourself. Now here comes the next one that make me go nuts. Number two, the Sonic fandom. Another expectation, I guess. I put this on number two for not one reason. I absolutely despise the next one, but you guys should already know this fandom pretty well. It's been around for a long time, and some of the fan art can be horrendous or really fucked up. There are rabid fans in this one, but you, they are like your best friend compared to the next fandom. Now, on to number one. Number one. Alright, now the number one fandom that drives me absolutely insane is... Drumroll please? The Warriors fandom. I know you're gonna click the comments box. Try me. No, seriously. You are. I can tell. I have a long story with this one, but before I get into the story, let me summarize how horrible this fandom can be. They are arrogant, self-entitled brats that, if you don't like warriors or are simply a dog person, they spam your profile, rage, and in extreme cases, death threaten you. They are mostly 9 to 11 years old. That is around the age where you should be mature and not do those things. Story time. I was on a scratch page that had a group of cat lovers, and I came in and told them that I was a dog person, and, being the Warriors fans they were, 
spam thy page with cats are better, you are hideous, and most importantly, I will kill you because I don't like cats. These people were about 10. Crazy, right? Now the leader of the group came up to my page and said I was the one insulting these people. Are you fucking kidding me? If you don't believe- oh, I'm I wasn't the one death threatening others. I was the one trying to stop the mess on my profile. If you don't believe me, I'll link the page in the description and you can see for yourself. Keep in mind that the death threat was removed by the scratch staff, which I am glad. Because of this, Warriors hit the number one spot.